And we are back with more Mass Effect. In the last episode, we went to find Thorin, and we're about to go in and find him now. Let's find this fuck. I love the soundtrack to Mass Effect. Or just for this this little bit. I don't know why, I just really like the Ferris soundtrack. Very sci-fi. Anyway, we're in this weird fucking tunnel that we've been seeing for quite a lot of the game, but there we go. Okay. Let's go and kill more Thorian creepers. Well, I'll be damned. Alright, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What... Is. This Cthulhu! We have found Cthulhu. Actually, that is it's fucking weird. It's like... I don't know what that is like. That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be... problematic. <laughs> Morden reference. Oh man, what's it doing? Oh, I just gave birth to someone. Fuck. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. Well, I mean, it did just give birth to someone, like, in five seconds, so... I'm kind of impressed. So let's try you gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them. Now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground in the new growth. You dare knock me over. Oh, looks like my squad killed the uh, clone. That thing is so fucking weird. Honestly, Pharos and just the enemies you face on Pharos and just some of the shit that we have to do definitely is up there in my uh, top ten weirdest things to do in Mass Effect. Because just look, it's like Cthulhu, but like way, way weirder somehow. Well, there we go. Thorian node. Got them. Yeah, looks like I pissed it off. Ah! I thought he was gonna like sort of grab me with his tentacles. That's fucking. Oh man, that's disgusting. Fucking Thorian, hate it. There's a, there's a little creeper over there. Oh, now what's it doing? Oh, it's giving birth to another Asari. God, it's so fucking weird. Okay. I'm trying to stay on the Asari cloak and just creep it again in a way. Fuck! Oh 
Okay, have I got shield boost? Let's put that there. No, no, wine slot four. It's done. Oh, I can level up. That's cool. Why do I keep clicking equipment for fuck's sake? Uh, what am I doing? Spectre training, why not? Unity, um. Fine. I'll get Unity. There we go. Let's put Unity up there. Yep, there we go. Perimeter secure. Now, where are we heading? Ooh, I wonder if we've got anything else in here. That's cool. Okay, quick, 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 quick. There we go. Ooh, we've got a new assault rifle. Let's see what we got. We Lancer 3. Nope. Looks like the Avenger 2 is still the best assault rifle I have right now. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Guys, you just kill that. That's another node gone. Oh, the noises it's making are pretty damn weird. I'm grossed out right now. And God, the animation for Shepard falling to the floor is so fucking stupid. It's just like, yeah. Switch the shotgun. Garrus, what the fuck, man? Yeah, that's that clone done. Oh, fuck. Ew, ew. That was a waste of a grenade. Unity. Where's this note? There it is. Level up. Fuck! Press the equipment thing again. I'm getting really bad at this. It's 
sounds as though we've definitely pissed it off. Oh, I'm getting some frame rate issues right now. What the hell's hitting me? I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, no, 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 don't do this. Shields up. Whoa, that was lucky. I've forgotten the button to heal. God damn it. Where are the controls? Uh, weapons. No, 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 no. Powers. Well. First aid, there it is, it's F. I'm a moron. Clear. There we go. I'm all better now. Right, I need to remember that, because I'm an idiot. Well, again, it is pissed off at me. Where the hell are the rest of these enemies? Where are they? Ooh. Medical station, let's do this. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, we got some decent armor for the guys. Alright, let's see what we got. Some more heavy armor for the uh, for Rex here, so we'll, let's equip that. Oh my god, it looks dumb, but it's got better protection, so we're going to keep it. Um, what should we do? Um, let's just do that, why not? And Gara's got some armor. It actually has more protection than what he's got now. Uh, I hate having... I, I don't really like putting characters in a different sort of suit. It looks, it looks really wrong. It just doesn't feel right, man. What have we got for me? Alright. Any upgrades I can add to it? Shield battery, let's see how that does. That really didn't do that much, did it? Okay, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Let's run down here. Oh, Shepard is tired. Oh my, they look so weird wearing different armor. Honestly, if it helps, like, you know, protect them, then let's just use it. Why not? Ooh. Where are they? They're right up there. Fuck's sake. I'm miles away. How do I get up there? Aha! Okay. Whoa, hello. Kill that. Further up. Looks like we've got another one of those nodes over there.
But I'm sorry, Clint can do a lot of damage. Are we done? I think we are. Thank God it's dead. Thing is fucking weird. And that's disgusting as well. I'm free. I. I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel. An enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of its existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The Beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Sarah. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity.
I have given you the cipher. Just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you all right? What just happened? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. All right, that's Ferris done. Did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. I hope Exogeny learned their lesson. If only Exogeny had supported us from the start. It's nice to finally get the support we deserve. Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable once I get out here. Okay, we're all done. I will do what I can to assist the colony in this difficult time. I am ashamed of the damage done to the lives of these people. Farewell, Shiela. Farewell, Commander. I wish you well in your hunt. All right. Let's head back to the Normandy then. Okay, I thought we could actually uh, just like press N and go back to the Normandy, but apparently we can't. So it looks like we're gonna have to walk back to the Normandy. If I can even remember where the fucking thing is. Elevator. Normandy. Let's set that as our destination. Alright. I said we'd need like two or three episodes to do this, but I managed to do it in uh, just two. So there we go. Mary O'Connell. Hello. Finally, that damn thing is out of my head. I can think without pain. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. Would it help if I brought in some power cells from the Normandy? We can certainly spare a few. The top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate yeah, that's another it. quest that I'm probably not going to do. So, all right, let's get out of here. I've had enough of this planet. It's just fucked up. But it's always nice to help people in their time of need, because I am Paragon Shepherd. Why not? Okay, I'm going to shoot up now, and we're going to head back to the Normandy. So, I think I'm going to end it here, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode, so take care.